So there's a rule of the three Bs when you're the last presenter at a pachacacha. Be brief, be funny, and be in the bar in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so Amaru Casey Jones E. My name is Casey Jones, and I am going to take you to East Africa. And I taught nursing there for two years. So, um, Aiko Fumosana, Ovozu Imibi Tualu Ondrado, Si Andru Amadrusi Arusu Imini. I am honored to be here tonight to tell my story. That was a photo from Murchison Falls National Park. For a decade before I took that photo, I focused on complex life support systems to keep people alive. Now, my most important role is to teach nurses to be better nurses. After a decade of riding the edge of life and death, I began to teach. This statue is a statue of Florence Nightingale. It's at Laguna Honda Hospital in San Francisco. Florence saw nurses as scientists who study patient care. Her oil lamp symbolizes lighting a patient's way back to health. I give nurses that light. In July of 2016, this fine group of nurses and physicians graduated from training in Washington, D.C. That crash course made us members of the Global Health Service Partnership and fellows in global health education. The day after this shot, we went to Uganda for a year, and I stayed for two. Where is Uganda? Lesson, I think, is probably apt. Um, Uganda is a sub-Saharan country in uh, East Africa. It sits on the shores of Lake Victoria. It's the third largest lake in the world, and Uganda is the home to 45 million people. Uganda is a culturally rich country. 33 tribal languages are spoken there, and fortunately, it's a former British colony, and higher education is taught in English, which made my job easier. Winston Churchill said of Uganda, this is the pearl of Africa. My adopted home and my adopted people are the Lugbara people. Um, my name, Mundu Feta, Mundu means white man, and Feta means gift, so a white man who brings gifts. And if you'll join me tonight, say hello to my friends in Uganda, uh, in Lugbara, Mingoni, Mingoni. That means hello, and muke means I'm fine. The borders of Congo and South Sudan uh, join uh, with the Democratic Republic of Congo at Saliu Musalu, a tiny village that these men guard. 70,000 refugees crossed the border there in 2016, and by 2018, it was a million and a half. An hour south of the largest refugee camp in the world is the pleasant shade of a mango tree. I watched President Museveni commission Muni University there. After decades of dreaming, a university was finally born. My host country counterparts and I were handed keys to a large empty classroom and told, make a nursing school here. Holding those keys, I thought, this is where I could carry the lamp and light the way for brilliant Ugandans to become nurses. A commission on higher education came and visited one day, and after seeing our skills lab, one of the par parliamentarians turned to me and said, sir, how is it possible that this hospital only treats white people? <laughs> Surrounded by some of the darkest skinned people in the world, we also laughed. Nursing skills are generally universal. You learn to see humans in a holistic light that takes patience and hours of practice to master. To take a blood pressure, students first learn to feel the pulse of the heart. And my heart leaps when I hear them say, I feel it. The memory aid, Ape to Man, helps students remember the heart sounds. Place your stethoscope over the aortic valve A, above the P, uh, pulmonic valve P, above herbs point E, above the tricuspid valve T, above the mitral valve M. I fill with joy when my patients say, or my students say, I hear it. Emily, a Peace Corps volunteer, invited my community health class to teach her primary school a lesson. We taught 20, my 26 students taught over 600 students how to prevent, recognize, and treat malaria. They taught in five tribal languages, English, 
French. My heart leapt that day. Nurses study mathematics, biology, biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, psychology, communication, and ethics. We are scientists. Who knew healthcare could be so complicated? At 100 beats per minute, nurses know how to have fun. While teaching community health, I asked, where does our garbage go? We discussed the health benefits of waste removal and the barriers to it. A visit to the dump enabled us to teach the workers who were there how to stay healthier working around our waste. Mooney now has 80 nursing students. Recently, the program began an exchange with nursing students from Denmark. Each graduating class will have greater health benefits for the West Nile region, one of the poorest places on the planet. In 2021, I hope to go see the Pioneer class graduate. I'm working with MSU to find ways to bring Mooney faculty here to Bozeman. I dream that they can come for training here and that we as a faculty can go for training there and eventually have an exchange of students of our own. Global health truly takes hard work and passion. I am Mundu Feta. I teach nursing. Every country on the planet has a nursing shortage. Nurses are the most trusted people in the world. Touching people and lighting their way back to health is magical. The world needs more nurses. Come and play nurse with me.